All right. Don't let the, the ReZero people know about this, but I think that in terms of episode one and what it delivered, the impact it had on the community of people that watch anime, Dan Dan Dan, episode one, I think, was better. Well, ReZero was a lot of exposition and setup and then a hype moment. Dan Dan Dan, the entire episode was so good. There's something about this show in the way that the cinematography is done that feels like the tempo is fast. Like every time something is just like happening. There's no like slow time. There's no stalling. Like I, it's it's really hard to put into words. But if you've seen episode one, you know what I mean. The, the show just feels different. And now the actual plot. Ghosts and aliens, right? Both sides believe in the opposite thing. But now we are both believing in both things. The girl has unlocked her, like, inner chakra ability. I don't know, the aliens are doing some weird rays, and I think she's, like, basically super powerful now because of that, which I never expected. I thought it was only the guy that's gonna have the supernatural powers to transform and, like, protect the girl, but no, the girl can fight, I think. And now, the guy, Ken, right? His... his weenie. His weenie is still stolen. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means, the Turbo Baba, we still need to get her. I'm not sure if we can just confront her, but we do know that the girl's grandma is an exorcist. Maybe she can help us out. Let's begin today's reaction. Yes. Yes. I don't think she has a weenie, bro. Look at the power she has, right? That was all. That was all. Esper. She's crazy, man. Is he gonna be okay? Yo, his glasses are shattered. Hello? Are we fucked now? Okay. That's it? <laughs> That's it? No speaking my name? Can't call myself Ken? If I do well, she pretty much... I don't think she's fallen in love with him. It's hard to just fall in love, but like, in terms of like, how manly he seemed to her last episode after he mentioned his name to her, I think she's head over heels. She just doesn't want to accept it. She doesn't want to admit it. What are we doing now? Okaru. Oh, oh, Okaru. New nickname. Okaru. I'll kill you. Can we give a pet name for her too? They get along really well. I would have never expected like a delinquent light girl. She's not a delinquent, but you know, she's definitely not a dainty lady. And then just this like kind of otaku nerd. They vibe really well. Bart Riz? Did he just shit his pants in front of her? What? <laughs> she, put, she put too much pressure on him. He's like, oh, come on, show me your cute little face. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty manly fart. Damn, that charmed me. In the morning, Turbo Baba doesn't show up. Only at nighttime? Yeah, let's see the granny. Let's also see the cat. Apparently, we already saw the cat last episode. You did this to him. Bro, that's just busted. We need some new glasses. Wait! What? It's some cartoon shit. Where you have a broken tooth and you drink fucking milk and it comes back. Alright, we good! Regeneration glasses. Sure. Almost killed? <laughs> Must be because Turbo Baba is in him, and Granny probably has a protective barrier. <laughs> You're gonna die. Drag him into the water. The charms. Peaceful, prosperous family ward against evil and misfortune. Yeah, that was very peaceful. This poor kid is getting tossed around by her. This is not the way I wanted to <laughs> This is not the way I wanted my shit to get tossed around, but his glasses are broken again, but it's okay. All we gotta do is 
thing and then it'll be fixed up. Wait, what? Okay. You got an afro now too. <laughs> Bro, no. Fuck the supernatural. Fuck the ghost and aliens. What are these glasses? This glasses is an alien, dude. This is not regular glasses. Is this stupid anime logic? As in like, it doesn't matter? Or is there a deeper meaning? Is there a need to nitpick on this? Is this like an alien in disguise? I'm not sure. Okay. Is there only one charm? What about the left pillar? No more, okay, let's go. You know, we can like step around it. We should just like jump the fence over here. Okay. New hairstyle. I mean, yeah. You go to like a park and you'll see a bunch of like old Asian grannies with this, right? Or like they'll be wearing like a visor, right? This is the granny, old Asian granny hair perm. Cat again. Yo, where's the busty bachana? Give me show me the granny. The granny's a baddie, man. His shoes are so fucked up, too. <laughs> this is a room? Um... Pink Leopard? That's kind of feisty. But then it's got, like, the samurai. He must be the actor Ken, right? Yeah, more actor. He really loves that guy. Pretty, like, girly room, kind of. More aggro because the leopard print. She loves the pink leopards. <laughs> You know, her Esper power has been pretty good in just, like, retracting that Turbo Baba form. Every time he gets hit by it, he does return. I don't know. <laughs> careful, careful. Okay. Oh. Arawini? Did Turbo Baba actually take it? How does that work? Does he not have anything down there anymore? Arawini. <laughs> Check yourself, bro. You got the package down there? You want to see my banana? Yeah, the weenie's taken away. <laughs> like, just the shaft? Are the balls there? Are the balls all gone? What is, it, what is it looking like right now? I'm confused. あ、どうすんですかこれ。ないですよ。うちが悪いみたいに言わないでよ。勝負しちゃうあんたのオカルト話なんか興味なかったの。あんたがめっちゃ話しかけてきて喧嘩売ってきたんじゃん。ん、チ
These two are actually... How... Dude, dude, we're fucking one and a half episodes in. How is Okarun and Ayase's relationship this good? They just like... They just match. Like... Bro, there's been little to no like setup or any like development. It's just one and a half episodes in. They, they, they just, they just, whenever they're just on scene together, just talking, it just makes sense. <laughs> as soon as I say chemistry is insane, he calls her ugly. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Baba? What she look like? Show me. The trailer show me a lot of cleavage. Come on. Oh shit. Oh no, the guard is off. Uh oh. Use your rest for powers. I guess if the tal talisman exists, I thought it was like a guard. So like if the talisman exists, that entry point is where you get burned. But if you're already inside like Okarun, even if you put the talisman back up, you'll be fine because you got past it. But no, it's more like if it's on, this whole area is protected. The sky. What the? We just got domain expansion. Uh, this felt more... This felt more alien-like rather than ghost-like. I don't know, the, the, spe the special sound effect I'm hearing makes it sound like we're being attacked by aliens, but right now is it supernatural? I thought that, you know, ghosts and shit can only attack during nighttime too. Then Okarun dies, maybe. Blood? Okarun is taking damage too. Nosebleed again. What the fuck? Everyone is getting nosebleeds encapsulated in here. Why? What is this, miasma? What is this guy gonna say? If Turbo Baba wanted to say, give me your weenie, is he gonna say, give me your coochie? <laughs> What promise? The talisman is pretty much done now, right? No, no, it's still up. It's still up. It didn't really seem to do anything when he touched it either. Yo, this is like a boss fight. The whole... Like, look at this, like, hand wipe, man. Whoa. Look like a sumo. Ghost? Banana. What the fuck is a banana organ? Um, Turbo Baba was saying weenie. Did Turbo Baba ever say banana? No. The banana was by the aliens, right? The aliens would say, give me your bananas, right? But is this guy associated with aliens then? Because he says banana organ? I'm not really sure. Also, if you're saying banana organs as an our weenie, it's gone. Turbo Baba took her banana organ. You're wasting your time. Yo, these ghosts and aliens are so down bad. Alien. Okay, so it is an alien. An alien would say banana, right? The Esper is not. Nah. Fucking Turbo Baba said weenie. That woods monster? Look. Look at that shiko. Look at that pose. Boom. I watched a random sumo show on Netflix, and basically this dance right now, the one leg up, boom. That, that exercise, I think it's called a shiko. It's like warm-ups. You're supposed- and like, the super dedicated sumos, you're supposed to come up early, show up early, and do like 2,000 repetitions, like every morning before the real practice starts. Like, this is all you do. 
Cool. You just left, right, left, right, and it builds up like the foundation of lower body strength, or at least that's what the sumo show told me. More black fog. This is interesting that the plot is making the aliens and ghosts to be intertwined somehow. They're not just separate entities. They have something in common. Well, they both want the reproductive organs. Turbo Baba says, give me your weenie. Aliens says, give me your banana. At the end of the day, they want their reproductive organs. For what? To do what with it? Is it a delicacy just for you to eat? If you have these reproductive organs, can you then artificially create more of these ghosts and aliens? I don't know. If I'm holding Okarun's curse back, I can't use my psychic powers. Okay, so right now, she's literally holding his curse. You know what? We should lift. We should. We should let her fight. Fuck it. Let Turbo Baba come out. Let's see what he can do against that sumo guy. I think this is the one time where you should like lift it. Fuck it. Ooh. Oof. I'm half expecting our granny to show up and save us, though. Or maybe Okarin will clutch right now. What that hand do, bro? Lift the curse. Curse. <laughs> I say lift it. It's interesting how they mention can you lift only the physical curse? Meaning there's like a mental curse, like there's separate components, but basically lift the curse just enough so that Okarun can attack. Yeet. Fuck it. Physical curse. <laughs> Limiter release, bro. That's transformation. The henshin scene here. The transformation looks sick. Dude, how did they make Turbo Baba transformation look so cool? Like, you would never expect this. Like, Turbo Baba is a freak. His granny is running, trying to get your weenies. But somehow, when the curse resides in Okarun and he transforms, it looks sick. <laughs> Let's go! <gasps> yeah, that's the fucking mode that we saw in the trailer. Look at it! This looks so sick! <gasps> Yo, I bet she'd be down with him calling himself Ken right now. Uh huh. In this mode, I bet Ayase would be like, Can you say Ken? <laughs> Okay, yo. 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 Eradicate the sumo, yo. He's burning with power. Fingers. Ooh, what the fuck just happened, man? He cut that finger off. Also. Is the yo straight up what Ken says? Like the movie actor? Like the speech pattern right now. Ayas is like, you're talking just like him. Is that what's happening too? <laughs> oh, he bit that off with his teeth. <laughs> yo. Things are looking great. Then he started puking up blood. What happened, bro? What happened? Alright. What happened, bro? Body can't keep up. Good googly moogly. That fang is thick.
What? Yeah? It's a sumo, bro. Because <laughs> there's no stadium out, but like a sumo touches the ground. Yeah, that's... Maybe. Maybe it'll follow the rule set. It is a sumo. Fuck it, let's try it. Just drag him to the ground, I say. <laughs> what? I love how his jacket also. Look at this, right? That's so cool. It's not just his hair aura, but the jacket also starts like glow, like burning red. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okuru got fucked up too! <laughs> okay, hand. What about the other hands? How the fuck? Granny, I expect Granny to show up and bail us out at some point if we can't do it. Can a human just take this hit? Surely she has some like psychic armor, right? She's gotta have like psychic power like barrier, some armament hockey. There's no way a normal human can hit, get hit by this and just survive. Oh. Uh oh, Baba's out. He can't control it himself. Oh, she did it for him. Uh huh. Dude, he is so fucking thick. That thong. That sumo thong, man. Let's go. Yes, ma'am. Well, the sumo should have lost after his hand touched the ground, but he's still alive, so he's fucking cheating right now. I say will not let cheaters off the hook. Maybe this goes kind of beyond them. Did she ever get cheated on? I'm not sure. Dude, she is such a strong girl. Okay, this is no longer a simple hit. These are literal machine gun fucking punches, bro. What the fuck? Is it all part of the plan? Ooh, the soundtrack. Get it, get it. The pillar. That's right. Now we're outside. Get the charm. Put that shit on the gate. We're outside. He's in. GG. Fucking sick, man. Holy shit. I know nothing is actually being animated here, but I feel like this is supposed to be like an homage to like the manga panel, right? This looks fucking sick. Now, this is interesting, huh? How the charm, like this whole place, it's all about like warding against supernaturals, right? Ghosts and shit, spirits and shit. Yet the alien, Sumo, is taking damage. I wonder how much Granny knows about like supernatural shit working together along with aliens, because there's a connection here. An alien sumo is taking damage from what should only impact, you know, these like supernatural spirits, but maybe they're the same at the end of the day. And we're good. Holy shit. Hey, it's like nothing ever happened. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, Okarim, we're back, bro. Okarim, bro, we're back. Baba. I love how it just, like, comes back and off. So, like, what do we know about this curse? There is, like, a physical component, like, a mental component, right? The physical component, if you, if you just lift that shit, 
then like he can manifest but the like, the mental part he like retains his like sense of identity but still when he goes into that like new mode his personality changes it's pretty cool <laughs> Yeah, bro, it looks fucking sick. Uh, I think this is the frame where people are complaining. His low taper fade is gone. This, this, this side over here. It's supposed to be a fade, but I don't think it really matters. The hairstyle looks sick. Yeah, because you use so much power. Oh no, who's going to control his curse? Granny? Yo, Granny, you gonna show up now? <laughs> granny. <laughs> granny, where are you at? Oh. Cliffhanger. And that is today's episode of Don Da Don. And god damn. Another hyped episode. The cliffhanger is unfortunate, but hey, get just hyped up for the next weeks of episode. What did we learn today? Aliens? Spirits? They seem to kind of like work together or they're kind of similar right there's a repeated element of huh it's an alien here banana yet it's in here and then the charm worked on it we need to ask granny about the, what the association is between aliens and like ghosts and the supernatural maybe they're all the same thing maybe they're not okarun has a new nickname because ayase will not hear ken ayase will never hear the word ken she doesn't want to hear it I wonder when she's gonna be fine with it, but because, you know, Ken is like a famous actor that she really loves. And maybe even the way that he talked reminded her of Ken when he went into his like partial transformation state. This transformation state is fucking sick. Looking like the main weapon in it is his jaws, right? The sharp teeth, it just cuts shit so fast. But Okada's current vessel, his body, is not strong enough to contain it, so it only lasts for so long. Plus, there's this constant state of Turbo Baba coming out, and I say has to be, you know, awake and keep that shit at bay, or bad things are gonna happen. I think that the granny should show up at this point, right? A granny should show up at this point, at the very end, and save us and kind of teach us exactly what's going on. Maybe give us a little bit of exposition on the supernaturals and ghosts. But the show is cooking, and I'm glad that it's cooking. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.